Hadouken! You're going over the lower end. Deep, Deep south. Come on, come forward. Yeah. <laughs> so do I look at you, do I look at the camera? Look wherever you want. As long as you're in this sort of... Look, think about... <laughs> as long as, um, you know, as, as long as you're peripheral vision. Like last time. Think about like, yeah. Yeah, last time you were very, uh, you were a bit too, um, a bit too nice about other fighters last time. Yeah, well, do you know what? It's funny because even Jeremy Bailey uh, said, "It's just recording now." Even uh, Jeremy Bailey said uh, he put a post up about Ronin, yeah. about the weigh-ins and everything. It's like bring your attitudes, you know, because no one likes a cuddle fist and this and that. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not Conor McGregor. I'm not Nick, Nick Diaz. Like, I don't, I'm not bothered about that. It, it is what it is. I'll get in, I'll get in the ring and I'll tear his head off if I need to. I've got elbows. Off. I'd like to cut his face off. I don't need to do oh, it. Oh, now it's coming out. It's always. I think there. it was probably the aftermath of the fight. He just Sarah thinks is going for your sister, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, I was. I was. I was. I was in a happy place. <laughs> I was in a happy place. Okay. I mean, sometimes I turn it on. Sometimes I don't. I fight very relaxed, very calm. It's, it's the way I like to fight. I mm. enjoy it. I like to enjoy it. But when I need to be aggressive, I can. I'd like to be more aggressive in my next fight. But then I am a counter fighter as well. So pros and yeah. cons. And obviously a fight in Sunday. Yeah, weight cut week this week. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering why you're looking very Slim. leaner than last time. Last yeah. time you looked hench. I was fuller. I've eaten. <laughs> I've definitely eaten. But uh, now what? Two two days away. So yeah. where is it? It's Thursday now. So we've got it on a uh, Saturday. All right. It says on here you're fighting. Go on. Grisgors. Grzybowski. That's why I'm looking at this. That is him. Do you know much about him? You know more about him than I do. I'll be absolutely honest. Most of the fighters that are going on, I, unless I've actually studied them or had a chance to watch the fight. This is it. I don't know. I don't know anything about him. I, you know, people keep it in, bottled up. People let it out. Four weigh-ins, that weigh-ins, and media days in the fight. People handle it differently, and uh, it's showing it you care. You don't have to be, you don't have to be Paul Daly. You don't have to be the Diaz brothers. <laughs> you can be the GSP, but then you have to. When you have the opportunity to capitalise on something, you got to take it in your own way. Exactly. exactly. I mean, you know, you look at Anderson Silva. He's great for it. For instance, he, you know, he, he he's very, very polite, very, mm. very warming. And then at the weigh-ins, he's that little bit more cocky or disrespectful. He's a complete he and utter mofo. And, he, and he's doing things that can get him disqualified exactly. before the fight happens. Exactly. So it, it, it's, it's on how how you level it. I say a lot of MMA fights because they're the ones that you get to see a lot more. Mm. Whereas UK fighters, you don't really see the, the hustle and bustle as much. But I have seen it on uh, on shows like uh, Warrior FS. They've they've had a few uh, few scraps. Harry Shrewbridge's show. Yeah, man, he puts on a great show and uh, he, he gets some good matches on and yeah, styles make fight. Exactly. So you know he's work he's working it good. Have you watched any footage of your fighter of your opponent no. coming up? No, nothing. It's gonna go there and just implement your own strategy. And then the adapt. thing is, it's like uh, so I've watched nothing, like nothing, nothing. Uh, usually I, li I leave it to Kieran to do that mm. anyway, um, but he's like found nothing and he knows nothing. We know nothing about his record, um, win, loss, draw, whatever. Where's he from even? What gym? Poland. Don't know. Okay, I don't know. So he pulls Kifo, huh? Kieran said that I was fighting Ronin uh, the 17th. I said fine, sweet. So I had a week off after the last mm. show, then was straight back on to it. As long as I know the date I'm fighting and That's someone's it. there when I turn up. It's, and you're getting it's paid. Fine. At the end of the day, it's, it's quite exciting because you're going into the fight blind. I mean, there's enough videos on me winning and losing on the internet. So he's got mm. whatever he wants. But when we get in there, Ronin rules. So basically no clinch, but punch, kick, one knee and elbows. I can do that, he can do that. I think it makes it more exciting. I, I'm looking forward to the, to the matchups tonight. And I reckon that, you know, the kickboxers, they're going to be in for it. They're going to think that they've got yeah, they've got a better yeah, yeah. balance against the Thai But the thing is, it's like stance. It's like we are usually like this. So the further away we are, the hands are a bit lower. Then the closer you get, it's there. But it's not always there. No. When elbows come into it, and if you just throw an elbow now, yeah. and my yeah. hands are here, if you just like throw one over, whatever. If I keep it here, You're but if, I, if I've got them up here, and then you throw an elbow now, yeah. It's that difference. It's that difference it's, in levels that change. The tire is obviously very high. Yeah. 
and the K1 is obviously very low. It would. I don't know what background he's come from. I don't know anything. <laughs> Just don't know. At least you I, go. I like it. Yeah, but that's that's. You 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 have to be willing to do that. You have to have. You need to have that experience. You need it because you know if you get into a much bigger platform, which I reckon you will. You, you mean you know? Then you know you could get a call from any K1 tire rules organization one of the big boys at a drop of hat they say look can you come and replace so and so in five days yeah. it's one of them you know? it's like knowledge if you don't take the opportunity then you, you, that's it yeah exactly just because you haven't had enough time to watch knowledge is power so the more you know about your guy what he likes what he doesn't like mm. how he fights obviously you've got that edge because you've written it down on pieces of paper you've read the theory behind it and you know how to beat it but at the same time when you get in there and you're in the ring or the cage and you're fighting that opponent, it makes it a fight. Mm. It makes it so much more of a dog fight because you don't know anything. And I mean, I've fought people before in Thailand. And I used to say to the trainer, how many fights he's had? I don't know, 300. Oh, okay. What's he like, a punch, kick, elbow, knee? He went, yeah, yeah, everything. So I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I've been going into fights, you know, I've had, I've had loads of fights with people that I don't know much about. Kieran will look at certain stuff and will train certain stuff, but me personally, I don't watch, I don't have to see. It makes it more of a fight, it makes it a lot more exciting. A bit like the last guy, that was. Yeah. Well, everyone knew something about him. How would you pronounce the name again? Correctly? Uh, I, I didn't even, I, I've never pronounced it. I, He's just going to get labelled as the guy who did the spinning elbow Spanish, knockout of Reese Spanish McAllister. guy that loves elbows, you know, <laughs> and, and all I knew is that he loved elbows. Yeah. He was aggressive and loved elbows, so don't get caught and you've got a good chance of winning. How long have you been training with Kieran now? That's Kieran Kettle, what he wants, just wondering who's who. Well, I've only been training for coming up to nine years. The first part, I'd say the first three years, four, three, four years with Steve Gladstone. And then I lived over in Thailand for 18 months. Mm. Then when I came back, Kieran kind of took over. Um, and then obviously Kieran set up his own gym and I joined him there. So I'd, I'd probably say the, the rest of the remaining years really, three or four, so three or four years or something. But we, we, we spent a lot of time together because obviously I work at the gym now, I've been here like three, three years. Um, we train a lot, we train every week, we train in the classes. Um, myself and I think like one or two other guys in the gym fight a lot. Um, so we're always constantly improving, changing, working on things, evolving. So he knows me very well. Yeah, and I you, know him. You've got that. The communication is a lot. <clears throat> the communication is a lot smoother. Yeah. In the go zone, the go when you're in the fight. Yeah. And you got that one minute. Take away, take away 20 seconds of that flapping around. In that 30, 40 seconds, he's got to yeah. communicate with you. You get it. Yeah, exactly. You, you've, you've got exactly. that rapport developed no, over, over he knows, years. He knows my strengths. He knows my weaknesses. He knows what I need to work on. What I need to do on pads and in the classes and everything else. And he looks after the training and I look after everything else. <coughs> what did you think of um, going back to calling out stuff? I never did get to ask you last time. What did you think of the way in which Reese McAllister said, Yeah, I'll fight Josh Johnson? When did I you say that? I didn't see it. <laughs> <Went in. coughs> I deliberately threw it after, um, after Tanker main event. I threw in Josh's name. Just he, Johnson, yeah, from, from Glory. Yeah, and he went with it because Reese fought Glory Five London, and it hasn't fought for Glory since. Yeah, I and then um, Tim and then, Thomas he fought. Yeah, yeah, and then um, and then just about then if I had that little bit of footage. I hadn't used it for the rest of it. I kept that. Uh, I held it back. It's like you know what? I can do something with this. I haven't seen it yet. And then literally two to four weeks before Josh's fight, I put that out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all the jauncy lot were like, yeah, we're going for that. Retweeting it away. I met Josh earlier this week. Yeah, I was yeah. hanging out with him for a couple of days. Yeah, he's cool, man. He's really cool. Really nice, really humble. Yeah. What do I think about the fight between Reese and Josh? Jo Josh fights at 70. Mm. And Reese, I think Reese is meant to be fighting uh, Jordan Watson. And that's at 70. Um, Reese isn't a 70 kilo fighter. He looks it. You know, he's massive. But, yeah, I think uh, he's a He's, I think he's like just in between our height. He's, he's probably your height, I'm sure. But he, uh, you know, he he could probably fight 70, but it's it's, it's a very different power and level change from 66 mm. to 70. Um, people know that when they know fighting and fighters and weights, etc. But a lot of the general public don't understand. Oh, it's only four or three kilo. It doesn't matter. 
it, it does on yeah. the day. Um, I mean, I've, I'm, I'm a fan of Josh's. I watch him on Glory all the time, um, and it was great. It was a pleasure to watch him train. It's it's a very different fight. Reese is a is a great Thai boxer, Muay Thai fighter. Josh is a great K1 fighter. Styles make fights. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd watch it. I'd definitely be watching it, and um, he's definitely saying I'd like to see. Yeah, because Glory come to Manchester. I think it's November or oh, it's October. I hope it doesn't clash. Yeah. Oh sure. I hope it doesn't clash with um, your car. Who? Y your car. Your car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always say it wrong. Yeah, typical kickboxing person. Your car. Your car. I always your car. say your car. It's not. It's your car. Your car. I'm not sure when that is either. Yeah. It's tight boxing, isn't it? It shouldn't. It shouldn't clash. I reckon it'll be a week apart or something like that. Yeah, but it's not enough time to recover. For who? After a fight. Well, oh, yeah, yeah Reece, 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 Reece and Jordan is not, not going to yeah, be yeah, like yeah. a walk, and it's going to be, nah, gonna be bruised be up from that. No, I know what you're saying, I know what you're saying. Yeah, hopefully not. Um, we'll see, we'll see what ones what, and we'll see which ones he signed contracts for. After Ronin, what's happening with you? Hmm. Well, some people say, see, some say Ronin, I say Ronin. I say Ronin, yeah. sounds easier, spelled that way. Um, I've got a fight September the 11th, but I'm not sure I can uh, say it yet. I've signed in the contract. The country. In the country. I've signed the contract and um, as far as I'm aware, Kieran sent it off. What probably, rules? Which probably means he hasn't. But Ty according rules? to him he has, yeah. Tie rules. Okay. Yeah. Trying to think who he could be in September. You won't you won't guess and and I think a lot of people will be very, very surprised that I've got the fight and that I'm fighting that person, but I've got asked to fight. I said I'll fight. Um, I knew who it was. Obviously, I got told when it was. Mm. I said, "Well, fuck it." Sorry. No, I don't. No, but it's that's that's the way it is, you know. Fuck it. Nothing's getting, nothing's getting clean. Nothing, everyone knows this language is not an issue. Exactly. It's, Tell me off camera, then. It's the way. It's the way. It's the way it is. It's, it's the only. Yeah. It's the only uh, word you can use to describe it. Fuck it. I mean, you you, you fight. There's, I'm not going to pick and choose fights. I'll fight whoever, whenever, wherever. I've never been picky. I've never said no to fighting someone. I think I've only ever pulled out two fights and one was like on the week and the other one I had confirmed, but I'd had like verbally confirmed it. No contract sign or anything, but I had a bad injury. Then I was going away. Mm. Uh, then Kieran was away for two weeks. So like three, four weeks of the camp was already destructed and that left me with two weeks left after all of that so I thought well you know there's no point in taking the fight you know it's not it's not plausible so that's the only second time so when I got offered the chance for this fight against this person you've got nothing to win or to lose uh, nothing to gain fuck's sake you have got something nothing to, gain. to lose or to gain it's weight cut week yeah so you know you just fight and at the end of the day it's all experience it's all good fun you know, it's, it's what we do. It's how we it's how we do it. So I've got that in September, September the 11th at the O2. And then a lot of them are. Mm. And then October, uh, October 27th, I'm fighting in Estonia on a XFS. But I think it's a collaboration with Muay Thai Grand Prix. I'm defending the world title then yeah. against a, a Thai guy over there. A fair few of you guys have. Double K fought on Estonia, like I think, yeah, about two or three, Jamie, yeah. Yeah, Jamie Whelan, Jamie, Jamie and Luke have both fought on there. Um, you've got, uh, to, uh, I think Tommy King fought as well. You know, I've been wanting to fight over there for a few years. Your fights, yeah, everyone knows about your fights. What about you? Other than coaching here, other than being a really chilled out person, what are you like behind the underneath the actual interviewing surface? Who's your, your favorite football team? That's Paul football. When do you I, give up on football? Or when do you, have you always hated it? Uh, I don't hate it, I just don't support it, I just don't enjoy it. I, 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 I used to play rugby, so I love rugby. Yeah, hang on, we've had this conversation. League or Union? Uh, either, but I used to play Union. I have played League and I've played Sevens before, oh. but this was, so like, I'm a hairdresser by trade. I used to work at Tony and Graham. Let's have a look. Well, no, I, don't, I don't cut Come my own on. hair. This is uh, Lee Shipman, Harvey's <laughs> Barbers. I'm, I'm due a haircut tomorrow. <laughs> Harvey's Barbers, Bexley Hedge. And um, yeah, so I I used to work at the salon before I started full time mm. here, and um, and I used to play rugby. I think before I was like 17, but I used to play it from like 14, 15, 16, play for a club and everything. And then when I hit 18, the matches were played on a Saturday, but I had to work at the job every Saturday 
So I had to kind of like give it up basically. Yeah. That's when at the same sort of time I found Thai boxing. So I was around 18 when I found the Thai boxing and I'm 27 this year. So I haven't played it for a long time. And I think, especially now, weight cut week, I'm too small. I mean, they have some units. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I guess you could get away with sevens. You could probably go like, just run Seven, away from yeah, them. Yeah, sevens or, I mean, I could, I'd still play. It, it, sorry, if I could play, and I wasn't this devoted to, uh, mm. to tie boxing, I would, I'd be a bit bigger, a bit thicker, a bit stronger. The body would be a hell of a lot different and take a lot more punishment. I wish I could still play it. I do, I really enjoy it. I watch it as much as I can, when I can. Do you ever go to Twickenham? Like for oh, sevens, I've been, been tricking loads yeah. of times. Give I've me a shout next time you Yeah, well, I will. My, my, my dad, my dad David, he, he, he goes a lot um, when he can because he gets tickets through work. So me, him and my brother Albert, we go out there and we love it. We love it a lot. My brother Albert plays it and, and he's really good. And I put money on, on him to, to be in England, in the England squad. So no pressure. Awesome. But I honestly, I think he can. How old um, is he? He's 14, 15. You know, at that grumpy age. Is he um, county level then playing? Sorry? Is he playing at county yeah, level? Yeah, he's, he's actually, he's in, he's in the Kent team. Um, he's in one of like the tiers of the Kent. I'm not sure how it all works out. He's not in the actual official squad, but he's part of the squad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that's because um, the, then they feed in. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, he's still playing it. So I go and watch him every now and then. Um, and I love it, I do love it. I get really involved. Um, not as involved as my dad, like, you know, I feel mm. like, yeah, I, I can imagine, but um, but you're I fighting, love it. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's you know. different. He, you know, he, he, he gets just as involved uh, at the fights. But I enjoy watching him play, and um, you know he is good. So are you quite a sporty family? Is you, your brother? Uh, who else? I've got, else? I've got, f I've got three sisters and two brothers. Um, my brother Albert plays rugby. My dad does Ironman triathlons. Yeah. And he just done one, say what, four or five weeks ago. Um, just before the fight, wasn't in it? In Mallorca. It was just after. It was a week yeah. after. It was a week after. He was at the fight, and then he flew out, and it was the week after in Mallorca. And I'm going to watch him in October. In uh, Barcelona, and I can't wait for that. Is your dad like? No, he's age? not. Like he's just like a little bit bigger than me. Yeah. He must be hitting around 80 kilos, but he was like he was very strong, a proper oh, strong 80 kilos. Like his proper, fitness is ridiculous. Yeah. It's just it's just beyond a joke. I mean, it, I train a lot here, mm. and when I talk to him, I feel like I'm not doing enough. <laughs> you know, and he works nine to five up uptown. He's in he's in he's in the gym at like half five six o'clock in the morning. What did your dad do? He's like a in the city like trading yeah and um he's, he's in and involved around that bit and he's been in it for years all his life really so he does that so he's he's in the gym uh, sorry he's on his desk at seven in the morning so he trains before then he works then he trains after or he runs home from canary wharf how was your dad with you then because obviously like your dad's you know the sort of the sort of working environment your dad is in and obviously he must have studied a fair bit he, he's, he's well he used to do white collar boxing yeah so, yeah, so he understands that. Yeah, I mean, he, he gets it. He hasn't, he hasn't been around sports. He, he, he used to like, he used to play a lot of squash. Mm. And then he found white collar boxing, late thirties or mid thirties. Mm. And then he started doing that. And I really wanted to go up there. But I, at the time, I mean, I live with my mum. And at the time, getting up to London to train with him was basically impossible. Mm. Again, because I was working, me and getting a train, etc. It just didn't work out. Um, <clears throat> when I found out, I mean, he used to take me to, to rugby all the time. He used to come and pick me up, drop me off to rugby, watch, and drop me home, everything. You know, it was great. And it always helped me if he could. So, with the boxing, it wasn't that easy. When I found tyre boxing near where I live, uh, where my mum lives, I used to go every now and then, twice a week. Then I found, like, I was there for like three weeks, I think. Then we found the Semtex with Steve. We went there and then it just took off. By that time I was driving as well, so it was a lot easier. Mm. And then, once I started doing the tire boxing more, I'd go and train with him like on a Saturday or a Sunday, mm. something like that, um, whenever we could for like a few hours, whether it be in Essex or London. Um, and, and, and that's kind of where it would stem from. And then when he got to like that age where he's like, I don't want to be start get like, you know, he was yeah. mid forties or early, uh, yeah, mid forties I think, and he was like, yeah, fuck this. Like, Let's go for something a little bit easier, <laughs> which I don't blame him for. You know, he's, he, he, was, he was he was good. He had about 25, 30 fights. You know, and and, and he was he was a good guy on the on the on, on the, the league. Yeah, on the circuit. That's the word. So then he started doing triathlons, started running a lot more, bike, and obviously swimming. And he's like, right, start doing the triathlons. Then boom, 
Yeah, he, he uh, must have one hell of a gas tank with the triathlons. Yeah, my, my brother Mitchell, he um, he used to play football yeah. for the local club, and uh, he loves it. He used to play, he played for school, play for the, everything, uh, play for the club, and he'd always go. He'd always go, and it was great. You know, he, he'd, he'd have a late night, and he would still go. He would still train, and it was great. You know, he, he was just as involved in it. He used to go for runs. I'd come downstairs, my mum's like, where are you going? He's like, oh, I'm just going for a run. Oh, okay. You know, and I've trained him in here a few times. I've trained both my brothers in here a few times. And, you know, it's good. It's, it's, it's nice that they're involved in something like that. I mean, fitness is the best thing to get involved in. Yeah. I think so, anyway. Yeah, definitely. Doesn't matter what it is, as long as you're moving, if it's rugby, football, tennis, bit of Thai, bit of karate, even judo, yeah, any, want to do anything. some bit of MA, yeah. flip it out a bit, do something. Don't do exactly. nothing. No, exactly. They, my brothers both play enough of their PlayStation, so <laughs> at least they get out. Yeah, my younger brothers like that as well. Yeah, I can't. Proper gaming. But I think that he's just gotten hooked into rugby now. And yeah, so it's just, um, it's gonna be interesting. But my dad's kept him away from all the fighting stuff. It's like, no, no. People like <laughs> it, people don't like it. I mean, my, my mum doesn't come and watch me fight. Not anymore, she has done. And I, I just kind of like, look. You know. Is that too much emotional burden for you or for no, both of no, you? Not for me so much, I just, for her, she she struggles. She finds it hard. That looks that's a familiar face over there. It was a slimmer face. Mike Nunn's lost a lot yeah, of weight. Yeah, what the fuck? It's done good. <laughs> but um, nah, my mum, my mum doesn't really enjoy it. She knows he's she, fighting as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's on the show. Yeah, get hold of him. Yeah, we have a little word. Yeah, let, let him do this. Me, let him get, let him get training in first. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He hit pads. But yeah, apart from that. He, my mum used to do aerobics and everything when she was like younger. She's always been sporty, she goes to gym a lot. So you could say we are a sporty family, give or take. That's good. Right, got two minutes. Say whatever you want, about what? whoever you want, anything you want. You can talk about whatever the fuck you want to talk about Brexit, you want to talk about, I don't know, Theresa May, you want to talk about the gym, you want to talk I, I, about. I know about it all, but I'm, I just don't get involved in it. Like, I don't. I've just been busy, man. Like you know, I mean, just 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 watch out. This this year, I'm gonna make something happen, like I have already. And next year will only carry over. I'm 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 in a good place. I'm enjoying it. I'm loving it. Really enjoying the training. I'll, I'll probably be going abroad in a few weeks to do some training. You know, over to to the gym, Voss Gym. Great guys over there. They really look after me. Love the gym. Training's phenomenal. And. I enjoy it. I keep going, keep moving. Next thing, next step, next fight will be big. Fight after that will be bigger. Watch this space. Definitely watch this space. Do you know when you're weighing in? Have you read the, uh, yeah. the latest Facebook status? Oh yeah, I've been I've been on Jeremy. He's, <laughs> I've, I've, I apologise today if I was a pain, and he was you know he was cool about it. But yeah, 11 o'clock weighing in the morning. <laughs> Considering the last fight was 5 p.m. Happy at least there's lots of restaurants there. You can just go, exactly. eat, binge ah. eat straight away. Yeah, that's it. I've got. I, I, I never really binge eat anyway. I've. I'm doing. Do you still after weighing? Do you still have clean food then? Clean yeah. Food. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. I, I stick to what my body knows. Like this this weight cut, I'm actually doing it differently to how I've done it the last previous. What's been okay? Summarize what the differences have been. So like everyone knows, like a hot bath, Epsom salt bath, Albulin oil. Uh, wrap yourself up afterwards in the towel. What about Everyone? the diet? No, well, no, that's what I've been doing recently. This time I'm going to do it with a sweatsuit. I'm just going to run. I'm just going to like okay. full sweatsuit, sweat it out a little bit more uh, naturally. The diet, the diet has changed a little bit, but I mean, I've been doing this for so long, like I know what I can yeah. and can't do. Okay. So that's fine. So it's more, it's more yeah. the physical side of things. Yeah, action. the physical, the weight cut. I mean, I, I've been having carbohydrates, like a bulgur wheat like a cus from the couscous yeah. family um only like 30 grams of it which is nothing but i've been having a little bit of that which makes a difference um i woke up this morning and i've only got like three kilos left you're done which you're is, done you're yeah, ready then. which is fantastic yeah. and then you know i'm gonna chill out tomorrow and then the day of the weigh-in I'll, I'll lose it all easy get there for 11 o'clock as soon as i weigh in i can step off i can start hydrating hydrating is the key for me because the, the the food comes you know you don't need to worry about eating loads of chicken this and that you don't want to eat loads of bread you don't want to eat um loads of pasta there it is karen pasta pasta 
don't have bread, don't have pasta because like bread's a motherfucker. I love it. I love it. Like, well, I, I can't after. live out it, but it's it, it, it's <laughs> no, it's a killer. <laughs> but the, the problem is, is people eat loads of shit after a weigh-in, and that's the worst thing you can do. So we're weighing at the O2. I'll go. I'll probably take a few little snacks or something. Maybe like a little bit of muesli, just to, yeah. just a snack on after. No, no, no. I'm gonna cook a little bit of rice. And I'll just have a little bit of rice after the weigh-in, and then an hour later, like the restaurant's open, so I'm gonna go to a restaurant Cabana, and you get like chicken with peppers. I'm not really bother bothered about that. I'll have sweet potato fries and rice because that's what my body needs. And then I'll eat again like after that. Then I'll eat another time. So I'll eat at least three times that day. Yeah, you 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 know the advantages of carbohydrates some wisely. You've done yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you I studied know. it or you just read up on yeah, it? Yeah, no, I studied it. And I what did you study? I just studied with a with a how was it like a, a group called Future Fit. So I done my um, level nutrition. Three? No, it's not level three. That's personal training. Basically, it's like I'm a, a weight management advisor. So I'm not a nutritionist. You need a degree with that. So I'm not saying I'm one of those, but I'm a, a nutrition weight management advisor. So I can help any type of people put on weight, lose weight, maintain weight, etc. But a fighter's body and a fighter's diet, everyone, well, a lot of people will know it's very, very different. What my body is living on this week and training twice mm. a day shouldn't fear it. Shouldn't be good. Shouldn't be nice. Um, it's not healthy, it's not good. I'm probably sitting around under 5% body fat. You know, lowers the immune system. It's only for a short period of time. And then it's all about the hydration and everything else afterwards, what you put yourself back in. So like I do eat clean afterwards, like you asked, but then on the way home, I'll have a chocolate bar. Big one. Oh no, that's, 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 that's harmless. Uh, <laughs> that's what After I a fight, fish and chips, no, pizza, is, is, everything. Nah, after, after the fight, five guys burger. <laughs> burger or a piece of takeaway, and then a pot of Nutella. I can go for a pot of Nutella, like that. Protein, in inverted commas. Oh, <laughs> Whatever it is, it's goodness. <laughs> cool. Right, I think you've done enough talking. Sweet, let man. You, let you relax now. But you're, you're pretty good on camera. It comes out, so. Thanks. Now I've got to try and edit this over. <laughs> I've got to edit it tonight. Probably in the morning, early, I'll edit it and then whack it up. Uh, I'll put some. Morning. Probably tonight.